Hello everyone and welcome back to another Universe Sandbox 2 video and today we're going to be doing another episode of checking out one of your guys' solar systems but before we begin guys just a massive massive thank you as always for everyone who has recently subscribed the amount of likes we've been getting as we've been smashing the like goals recently I mean all of the recent videos throughout the Christmas period all the way through December they have been amazing just a huge thanks to you all for hitting those goals and hopefully we can keep it up um, into the new year so yeah again massive thank you it's really appreciated and yeah it really helps the channel out as well so just kind of thank you enough for that guys absolutely amazing stuff so let's keep it up but yeah like i said today we are doing another systems so this is episode 107 now so pretty crazy stuff but yeah we have got one simulation to do from siren 001 today um in the comments so massive thank you to them um for sending this in so yeah this one is called this is first um solar system with a new update it looks amazing if you want to check it out it's on the steam workshop and it's named the sulfur solar system so um some things aren't perfect but it's my first one but hopefully you enjoy it so let's see what he has prepared for us i've already got it ready on the workshop i've subscribed to it here so we just have to wait for it so here it is the sulfur solar system and like i said all credit to this goes to the user siren 001 um, in the comments so yeah here we go but yeah there we go so you can see him there okay this is the first system i've ever created you can unpause it but risk that some moons and stuff may collide so yeah this is a new update so yeah we're an update here we go as we can see we're an update 24.1 here so the most recent one but yeah here we go so let's go and do our usual process of checking out the simulation so we're in orbits here right where are we so pretty big simulation by the looks of it okay how many objects are we rolling with in here okay five thousand okay so there's a decent amount of stuff in here to check out oh we've got plenty of colored trails okay this is looking pretty cool got an asteroid belt all right let's see what we have got here so i'm assuming most of those um objects are obviously the asteroids but anyways here is our star it's a sulfur okay so it's a little larger than the sun okay so it's around the alpha centauri a area of stars by the looks of it, a little larger and everything a little more luminous as we can see there so there it is there so there is sulfur all right, so first object of the day. Let's go on um, labels so we can see. All right, so the first object here is Norox over here. So, yeah, all the surface grids and stuff on all of these guys. So it should make it quite interesting. It's weird how um, objects are now lit up at the back like that um, with this update. It's kind of weird. But, yeah, there we go. So here is the first object. So it reminds me of a cold sort of Mercury. It's a little larger than what Mercury is. Sort of got the colors of Venus as well, but it's very, very cold at minus 273 degrees there. Um, I'm assuming maybe he hasn't played the simulation. That's probably why it's quite cold. So we'll have to try it and see what sort of temperature it gets to um, in the end there. Let's also check its... Um where are we? I want to see its stats. So it reflects quite a lot of light. But yeah, that definitely should get some sort of warmth from the star there. So we'll definitely have to check that out at some point. There it is in the zones. So there we go. Now moving on to the next object. we got Saitan over here. The hero is here, so it's a green trailed object as we saw there, with a blue atmosphere and a rocky sort of looking surface as we can see there, very mountainous sort of looking object there. It's also got a ring as we can see there, small ring, and it also has some moons. So here we go, so this is Daros over here, so it's going with a blue and sort of greyish colour theme there. Quite a nice view of the main planet there as well, that's looking good. So there we go, and apologies for any of the lag as well, it's just all of the asteroids in this simulation, it's got to be loaded in. Then next up we've got this moon here, so this is um, Vaiselt over here, I believe is the way you say it. So it's going with a light green atmosphere, with a sort of um, yellow and black and green sort of um, surface colours um, as well on it. So just check the uh, stats on it, so yeah, there you go, appearance, so it's got more, it's more of a lime green than the yellow actually, but yeah, there it is there. So looking good actually, I like that, it's looking nice. So we've got that one there. And now moving on to the next moon, this is Fullis over here. So this one is going with more generic nook with a bit of dark red on it with a mostly rocky looking um, area as well there. So there is that one, all of those moons done. Right, now moving on to the next object, we've got Moras over here. Quite a good name actually, I like that. So we've got Moras, so here it is here. So it looks almost like Titan, Saturn's moon Titan with it. Actually, that actually looks really nice. I really like that, a really cool desert looking world. Really like the atmosphere colour that's with it as well. Looking good. The colour blending on that is really nice. The dark blue looks amazing with the orange there. Very, very nice indeed. Really like that. That's, that looks really cool. So we've got that one there. And it just shows what you can do now with the update. You don't have to be able to mod anymore. You can literally just make any planet you want pretty much in the game now. All of the basic stuff of modding. That's all stuff that's in the game now, which is really, really amazing. And it's, yeah, just so cool that they've managed to add all this in. But yeah, that planet, that's definitely my top planet we have seen so far. Um, now moving on, we've got some of the more the moons over here, as we can see. But yeah, that, that planet is really good. Um, and then the last moon over here, Joras. And yeah, we, little more showcases of the um, different shaped asteroids now. They just look so much better like that, don't they? So yeah, there it is there. I wish you could change the colour on them, since they have an interface colour. You should be able to change the surface colours um, on it there. So yeah, there we go. We've got that object. Now we have an asteroid belt, as you can see there. And now we're moving on to the next object, which is this one here. So this is Oris over here. So this one's got some custom bands on it, you can see there. Lots of different colours in there, all pale sort of shades, actually. Some are more vibrant than others, actually. But yeah, there it is there. 
So an interesting colour gas giant. It's also got some rings as well. So it's definitely where most of the simulations objects are is the um, rings. Then we have got the moons as well. So we've got the first moon here. Then moving on to the second moon. So here we over here. So that's just a generic more asteroid. I'll make it a little bigger so we can see them there. Then the third moon is here. So some more bluish asteroid. Yeah, I wish you could change the colours of these. That's That'd be my next um, step for improving the customization in game. But you could probably do it by making a big object smaller. Because I'm pretty sure the colours would translate over. Um, but yeah, there we go. Next moon, we've got this one here. So going with an orange-like atmosphere. That's definitely the regular orange, though, um, in the game you can get by spawning them in. But yeah, there it is there. So similar to the planet, um, the nice orange one we saw. And then the last moon over here is this one. So we've got here. Here it is, yep. So this one... Um, looking completely different to the other asteroids it's cool that the asteroids all look different though i'm, I'm really happy that they um did that because yeah before they were just very pixelated but now they're proper looking asteroids which is pretty cool so yeah there we go right next up we are moving on to the last object of the day by the looks of it. i think this is where we spawned in as well so this one is poseidon okay so that's a cool name as well so here it is here so the greek god of the sea so it's the greek version of neptune basically so yeah there we go there there is poseidon and it's going with very sea-like colours with a purple north pole, as we can see there. So, yeah, we've got all the aqua colours with the um, violet sort of purple there. Looking very nice indeed there as a ice giant object, I assume. It's quite large, very large in size, actually. Minus 273 degrees. But, yeah, I'm pretty sure that would all change when we uh, click play, which we're definitely going to try. And then we've got the first moon here of Akam. So, that's quite a nice colour scheme on there. Yeah, looks, the surface grids definitely make the colour blending a lot better, I think. But yeah, there we go. So, there it is. Looking very, very nice indeed there. So, there we go. Right now, moving on to the next object over here. This one again. Look at oh, look. This one's got quite a weird object. And is that water it has on it? Maybe it's an object brought from an older version of the game. That's quite a weird um, appearance here. Is it water? No, it's not water. So that, maybe it's just a visual glitch. Maybe it's brought from the old version of the game. And it's a lot of planets that are brought from the older version have these weird, like, weird-looking areas like that. So there, there it is, though. So there's that one, slightly glitched. Um, and now moving on to the next object, we've got Neris over here. So this is actually a gas moon. Okay. Quite large, and it's still larger than Uranus and Neptune, this thing as well. So that just shows how big Poseidon is over there. Very, very large object at 11 masses of Jupiter there. And but anyways, moving on here. So we've got this one. This one's got some nice colours on it as well. A little more vibrant than the main planet, as we can see here. So it's got a simple red, yellow, blue and green sort of colours on it. Looking good there. Let's get a more view of the red as well underneath. Looking very nice indeed there. Nice range of colours. Um, then we've got another moon called um, yeah, Salby here. Or Salaby. So yeah, there we go there. Going for blue and white colour theme. It's a moon of a moon, actually. Look at that. So, yeah, it's an orbit of a moon of the main planet there. So, yeah, there we go. There is that one. And I believe that is all of the moons done. So, yeah, there we go. Yeah, that looks to be everything. So, yeah, there we go. So, zooming out. Oh, no, there's one more. Oh, no, we've got one more. Good thing I zoomed out. It's always good to check. So, we've got Curio as the last object in here today. So, it's a little smaller than the planet we were just at here. Looks to have some sort of custom colour on it as well. That definitely doesn't look like a random spawn. It's also got a purple trail, so that also proves the theory. Yeah, this is um, this has been um, changed a bit. But yeah, nice brownish sort of yellowy golden sort of colour theme going on there. It's got some a bit of blue in the north as well. And then more brown in the south. So quite a nice golden brown looking world there. So yeah, Curio. And then the last moon of the day is this one. And this one looks to have got some of the got some surface grids and stuff going on. We can see the water on it. Looking very um, nice there, actually, with all the different lakes and stuff to make an ocean. So this area looks more like the main ocean of the world. But yeah, there we go. So got some water added to it. It's at 8 degrees right there. It's very far from the star, so I'm pretty sure if you did click play, it probably would ruin it. Um, but yeah, there we go. So let's check its stats on it below before it does uh, get ruined when I click play. So Earth's similarity is quite good. The life likelihood is very low, though. I wonder why that is. Let's check the uh, surface, maybe. Maybe it's the atmosphere pressure. Yeah, it's got quite a high atmosphere pressure, actually. So, yeah, there it is there. The albedo. I'm pretty sure when we click play, it probably would drop. But, yeah, there it is there. So, that is our last moon. And it's quite similar to the Earth size. A little smaller, as we can see there. But, yeah, there we go. So, that is all of the objects in the simulation done. But before we end off, we're definitely going to click play. Um, I want to delete the rings as well, just so it will run a little smoother. But, yeah, let's click play. I want to see what sort of temperatures these guys get up to. Because I'm pretty sure the closest object to the star there, uh, Norox here, I'm pretty sure this will, will probably warm up. It doesn't seem like it wants to run very fast. It's probably because of all the moons it's trying to simulate. So, maybe we won't be able to play it after all. If I put this to zero degrees, will it warm up? And it goes to one... Okay, so no, actually, never mind then. It doesn't actually heat up that much. How far away is this from the star then? 182 days away, so not really too far. In AU, we are about 0 0.6. Okay, so it's close to sort of Mercury-Venus sort of distances going on there. But yeah, there we go. So I 
can't really play it any faster. It's probably just all the moons it's trying to generate in. So, yeah, there we go. Maybe there was a collision as well, since it may have made it a little slower. But, yeah, never mind then. So, we'll just um, reopen the simulation, just in case any of the objects were destroyed. And then we'll get a lineup of all of the objects. So, there we go. Let's go to the workshop. And then quickly reopen this. So, yeah, there we go. Right. So, let's um, get the lineup. Definitely you know which object my favourite is though, so there we go. Yeah, this is what we spawned in, was this one. But yeah, there we go. So let's go to radius mode and get a line up. So there we go. So um, yeah, we'll just delete the delete the rings though. But yeah, there we go. So out of the gas giants, I'd have to go Poseidon. Really, really like the aqua sort of green with the blue there. I think the only improvement I would have is to remove the purple. In, if it was me, I would definitely have this as a green or a blue to sort of blend in with it nicer. I'd say maybe something like that. I mean, it's just a rough example, but I think if it was me... That would be my advice to make it look more like that. I think the purple is a little out of place with it. But remember, it's um, it's only my opinion. So obviously you, you can think um, differently as well. Just let me know what you think would look the best on the top of it. There. But yeah, Poseidon, either way, is definitely my favourite object in here for the gas giants. I think it would be followed by Curio as well. I really like that gold and brown um, on it there. And then moving on to the Rockies, it's definitely without a doubt. Morass, 100% really like the name of it as well but yeah i think this is the top object for me out of the rockies i just really like the way it's color blending the really nice orange atmosphere it really looks like a desert sort of world the dark blue in the low elevation i think look fits really well with the orange as well so yeah there is moras um other notable rockies to me i think was definitely akam here with the very like exotic colors as well and then i definitely would have to go with this one as third place as well so the water world um at the very end there so yeah there we go they're my top picks for um this system guys but let me know which objects you think are the best out of all of these and yeah there we go so again a massive thank you to the creator of this system siren 001 massive thank you to them for sending this in guys and also if you want to send in your own systems as well make sure to either join my discord server link in the description it's the easier way of doing it and probably the faster way as well but that's the easiest way and all you need to do is upload your simulation files in there or you can just let me know in the comments on these videos remember to do it on these videos as they can get lost on other videos so yeah just keep it to these videos and then you can just let me know um, the name of the simulation um, on the steam workshop and that's pretty much all you need to do as long as you give me the name i can obviously give it a search up like i did with this one and then there you go so yeah simple um as that but yeah there we go so a massive thank you for watching this video today guys and yeah make sure to subscribe if you're new helps on the journey to 12,000 subscribers now and also um hit that like button let's see if we can go for 40 likes for this um custom system today guys and yeah that is it so massive thank you for watching this video guys make sure you all have a great day and i'll see you in the next video goodbye